Doing the first video ever with the camera. If you're wondering what's on my head, I asked Nerve to get me some glasses because I was wearing some raggedy yellow glasses, and this is what she got me, just so everyone sees it. That's what happens when I ask Nerve to help me. Little bitch. Uh, I have no idea how to make a video with the actual video footage of myself in it, so it's taken me about three hours just to get to this point. And I still have no idea how to put the video together, so this might be three or four days before anyone else gets to see it. I still am not used to seeing myself. It's about as terrifying as when I first started and used a microphone. But uh, got this first this first replay is, is actually an old war replay. I knew I was going to try to explain a few things. We've actually got the Golem event going on, and so we've got a couple of the old go wipes, which no one uses anymore. Except for when you first start playing, but honestly, with a new level of P.E.K.K.A. and, and some good tactics, we've been, we've managed to pull off a, a bunch of good farming raids. Still won't use it in war. I wouldn't suggest that. If Town Hall eight, maybe not Town Hall nine, ten, eleven. Uh, but these raids here, you'll see, uh, we hit it off pretty good. Big loot. Uh, it's a little different than it used to be, especially in Town Hall 9. In Town Hall 9, you can have a level 4 P.E.K.K.A. And it's just a, it's a big difference. Uh, this first replay was Stick and Go, one of Creeper's accounts. I noticed that I have a lot of little ticks that I have while I'm recording that no one gets to see. So now, I have to try to consciously not do all the things I normally do. I think Smoke was probably going to be one of them. So... Whenever starting off a go wipe, it's a little different. A lot of players will start off with uh, queen walk, but really, when you start off with uh, with with golems, you can put in a couple golems, put them up against the wall, uh, put in a few wizards right behind them, and then they'll clear off the outer wall, and that's how you start a funnel. Most of the time, normally, uh, uh, most players will start the funnel off by doing a, starting off with a queen walk and then angling the queen into the walls, or, or just using the queen walk as at least half of the funnel. But with a with a golem based uh, attack. You just put two or three golems on the outer wall and put wizards behind them, clean out the whole outer wall, and then you just implement your attack from there. You start with wall breakers, break into whichever section you want. Uh, this, I believe this is the, is, a, is the attack that was probably one of the most perfect attacks you'll ever see. Um, Creeper actually ends up getting uh, the tanks, which in this case, you know, Golem and Pekka are both tanks. So he has the tanks in front, and then he has three or four wizards literally just fall behind him the entire raid. If go wipes went like this every time, then everyone would do them in every war. <laughs> they just never work out this way. Not for me, at least. So I, right now, you, you, you see the queen is walking around the outside. She's got, I think, one healer left on her. And then you have, I believe, two golem. I won't put the pink glasses on, sorry. Uh, I think two golem and, and like five wizards and the wizards you know they stop they stop short so they're not getting hit by any of the aggro from any of the other defenses and he's literally just walking across the top of his base like there's n nothing there at all there's so many hit points up in front with the peckers and the golem the wizards aren't getting touched he's gonna lose the healer it doesn't matter by this point right now he's probably got 10,000 or 15,000 hit points out in front of the wizards they, they hit all the giant bombs they hit the spring traps they're just in no danger at all the only thing that would probably hurt this is if they had a bunch of mortars maybe in the core of the base. So he's going to take out the last couple defenses, piece of cake. This is actually a really good attack for Town Hall 8. Uh, Town Hall 8, you're going to make this transition from dragons. Most, most of the time people use dragons and then uh, once they get to Town Hall 9, they get into the bigger ground attacks. Uh, but in Town Hall 8, you can also use the Go Wipe, which gives you a good introduction to using big tanking troops with the more fragile high uh, damage troops, the uh, damage specialists. Next one, th I think two or three of these attacks are going to be from Creeper. I asked for a bunch of replays, and he had more than I could fit on one video. <laughs> I 
So again, you see, you notice he started the same way. Got a little lucky there, you know. This base being being on a farm base, you, you never really want to put a, a, all your giant bombs on the outside in your war base because even if you if you tag the first person that attacks, the next person will send one one troop through all the giant bombs. But you don't get any retakes on your farm base, so they had two giant bombs outside. He got kind of lucky; only got only two uh, wizards went down to him. But he's already got he's already got into the core. One jump spell gets into the core. Uh, this this is not how I attack this base. I usually start off in a corner and try to take out a corner, then jump into the middle, and then I just it, with a two jump spell uh, composition, I'll just pick another corner, to jump in. He takes the whole side out, and he's literally just marching right up and down from from bottom right to top left in the base. And I think that's the, the same baby dragon he put in right at the beginning. That, uh, just ate a giant bomb. <laughs> I had to say something. But again, you know, go wipes don't have a lot of troops in them. Golems are 30, housing space. Uh, Pekka is 25. So if you have two Golem and two Pekka, uh, right there you have 110 uh, housing space. So there's a lot of housing space in your tanks. But if you, if you use the attack right, a lot of your smaller damage specialist troops like the wizards or witches or whichever one you're going to use in the backside they'll live because they're just not taking a lot of hits these big these big troops manage to uh manage to soak up a lot of damage and kind of dragging out i've already recorded so you have to i had to do things differently with this just the way uh i make the videos normally i could fast forward through this but i've already actually recorded the attacks because I don't know how to do a picture-in-picture picture yet. I'm learning how to do this. Uh, I tried a different video. Uh, I tried something completely different that had the imposed video of myself in the corner, but it was really pixelated. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do all this. It took me like a month to figure out how to record myself <laughs> just with the, just with the microphone. So this is gonna probably take me a while. So. Uh, Obviously he's got it. He's got one defense left. These were also big raids. I think all of them were... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what this one it looks like. This is like th Probably went after the Dark Elixir on this raid. About 3,000 Dark Elixir. But I, I, I believe the first one was like 500,000 each. Uh, I think with the clan games... And there's so many different um, things that people are picking up in clan games. They're picking up the resource boosters. Uh, so there's a lot of loot out there. And I've noticed I have an account in... Titan. I have two in Champs and one in Master League, and there's not a lot of dead bases. So after five years, th this attacks from Little Luger. I think this is Town Hall Eight. No, he's got it up to Town Hall Nine now. Pretty strong base. Uh, he he's not gonna. This is not the. Uh, this is actually not a go wipe. This, is, this I guess I would consider this a go vape. He's using a he's using a bowler walk. Which probably one of the most common clan castle troops right now in the game. Uh, Town Hall Eight, Town Hall Nine. You can bring bowlers in the clan castle with three healers, and they give you a lot of value for for, for just the clan castle troops with three healers. Uh, got them walking around the bottom right, bottom right side of the base. He's he's pretty much gone through the set, the core of the base with with golems and Pekka. Flex not one to use Golem. Normally, most people in my clan use Giants, but with the Golem event going on, uh, giving up Book of Heroes. So, this is some more value that Supercell is throwing at us. We actually had a video that we made about it not too long ago. Um, I just had back to back Book of Heroes. So, normally, I have gemmed out many, many heroes. So, I, so I can still play with them instead of having to wait seven or eight days. Because I don't want to be frustrated when I play, and I just barely make it by with the heroes, never mind without them. So, I'll normally gem them out, and now I can wait, and I'll gem them out with the, these books of heroes. And we had one in the clan games, and then we just had another with this uh, golem event, so pretty good. Last attack, first video with me, hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been shitting the whole time. Until uh, next time, it's been easy. Take care.